Now this is one of the first things I got. And, uh, I found out I'm going to need this as I put the tops on more than, uh, than in the beginning for the framing. Uh, I did get a miter box. Miter saw. I picked these up for uh, ten dollars at uh, Harbor Freight Tools, and you know it got me rolling. We got off the ground and we're able to. Uh, let me show you here. I started off by making this table. Well, we had nothing in here. I had all my trains in here. Uh, some of the less valuable things are still under there. But I made a table. You've got to have somewhere to start working. So that's what I just thought. <laughs> I thought I would use this table, but it's probably going to be torn down in the end here and, you know, framed in like everything else is. Uh, then, this was the key to uh, getting the whole thing together. I mean, this thing was excellent. It helped me uh, cut miter joints, things that I thought I could never do. Just position the board there. And even on top, it has a laser light. I don't know if you can see that or not, but, you know, it's practically idiot proof, you know, and it had to be for me. So, we built this table and got it going, and then started out on, the, on these, this section here. As you can see, you know, things are not perfect. I had to leave a little access to the closet as we have our uh, holiday things in there and decorations. And, you know, just things you don't use every day, but you don't want to throw away. We've all got a lot of that stuff. And, uh, like I said, you know, this before the is also helpful. You know, I get the thing together. bought these braces and you know I would stick put a nail in there sorry for my photography here put a nail in there get it held up going and uh, then put it in with the screws you know in the beginning I tried to keep everything symmetrical and all, you know, but it doesn't really matter for the framing as long as you've got some screws in there and the braces. You can see I doubled up on the 2x4s, you know, there's no such thing as 2x4 anymore, I found out. And like I said, then later I did move this brace and the one over here have access to the closet still uh, so we can get the Christmas tree out and things like that. I have to show you guys this. It's one of the most marvelous things I will have on my layout. The Ross 175M double crossover. Which, you know, kind of inspired me to do the layout. I have no particular plan in place or anything, but I knew I was going to run it around that. And over here we have the area where we're going to have the roundhouse and the turntable. Could be, could be for that. 
it will all depend on how this turns out once uh, I complete this section here. But I, I do believe that this will be the staging area. And uh, like you can see, I'm not complete here. I still have a few braces to put in over there. A couple over here. And I kept everything away from the wall so it doesn't... I live in an apartment, unfortunately, and I don't want it to vibrate over to the next door neighbors, you know, when I am uh, having a nice running session. But, uh, yeah, the couple things you're going to need. You will need your basic yard stick ruler. And like I said, these clamps did help me a lot. A lot they helped me. And I also had these straps I bought that held the wood in place for me temporarily while I, you know, put a nail in there uh, till I got a screw till, you know, I reinforced it the proper way and then I would remove the strap. But those were worth their weight in gold as far as hiring help. Like I said, and do not even try this if you don't have one of these because, uh, boy, oh boy, it'll take you forever. And I'll tell you, things really moved along quick after I got the ripsaw in here. Uh, overall, can't complain. Life's good. And we're going to go back to work on a layout today. Hopefully get some tops on here today. Been waiting for this day a long time and maybe even run a train.